If you need to connect to a local business for products or services, today you would go to the internet on the web, you do a web search and you'll find the service you want. And in the olden days, uh, we used actually a book we called the Yellow Pages. This one is for Edmonton 2009-2010. And what would you do? Well, what's the Yellow Pages, for example? The, the well, Yellow Pages are basically a collection of these ads from different services. Um, and they are organized alphabetically by topic, let's say. So, suppose I need to contact a local business, a plumber, because I have a problem with my sink. I would go to these Yellow Pages. And uh, I will look for plumbing. Okay, accountants, adjusters, advertising. That's not the service I want. Agriculture, air, turn the pages, aircrafts, no. Sequentially search for plumbing. That will take me forever. It's a very big book. Um, so instead, I will do what we call a binary search. So I go right in the middle and I open it. P is after L, so it's not in this first part. It has to be in the second part. So I go right in the middle again, open it. Oh, it's R. R is after P, so it has to be in this part. So again, I open it into half, and that's M, so it cannot be in this part. It has to be here. Go in the middle. That's P, physicians, and I'm looking for plumbers. So again, it's here somewhere. Haha, -ha, plumbing. So in very few accesses, divide by two, divide by two, divide by two, I've found plumbing. I didn't have to search sequentially through all these. So the binary search is way more efficient. And we use it regularly, we don't realize. It's the same thing when students come to my office and they ask for the copy of their midterm because the midterms are sorted by the student ID. I ask the students, give me your student ID, and I do a binary search in the pile of midterms, and that's how I can find them very uh, efficiently. Otherwise, I would have to sequentially search. It'll take me forever.